And back in Egypt, the curtain goes up tomorrow on the first election since the ouster of Hosni Mubarak earlier this year. Many Egyptians appear eager to take part, despite widespread doubts among the protesters in Cairo's Tahrir Square. Elizabeth Palmer has more. On the eve of Egypt's elections in one of Cairo's oldest neighborhoods, Tahrir Square and the protesters feel a world away. Around the domino board, some do know who they're going to vote for tomorrow. Yes, yes, I do, he says. And some are still on the fence. You only have about 12 hours left to decide. But there is consensus on the main thing. Everyone here is heading to the polls. So you believe this is going to be a good election? Inshallah. Inshallah. We must trust. If we don't trust, we'll lose. With 6,000 parliamentary candidates and 50 million potential voters, it's going to be complicated. Only a third of Egypt's regions will vote tomorrow and Tuesday. The rest will get their turn over the next eight weeks, with the final result expected in mid-January. The parliament's first job will be to oversee the writing of Egypt's brand new constitution. Many of the protesters in Tahrir Square are boycotting this election, saying Egypt's military government has to leave power first. But millions are expected to turn out and choose between secular liberals, remnants of ex-president Hosni Mubarak's regime, and the powerhouse in this race, the Muslim Brotherhood, an Islamic movement rebranded for the election as the Freedom and Justice Party, but which has been organizing the grassroots, especially the poor, for decades. We have our supporters, you know, years before, so it's easy now to call them again. We are doing our best to bring your freedom to you, so please uh, try to get down, try to vote. The Muslim Brotherhood has a reputation as an extremist Islamist party, but in fact in Egypt it's a modern, sophisticated political machine. And it's running candidates that range from mildly religious to fundamentalist and even a secular liberal here and there where it seems to make political sense. Russ? Elizabeth Palmer in Cairo. Thank you.